Hey, Mario Star Bar, and welcome back to Alan Wake. Chapter 3. Alan, I definitely won't Alice be able to finish this chapter, right but I'm. I can't tell anyone except my agent Barry. I'm going to play as long as I can. My best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote. If only That's true my, my eyes. headphones it would turn so it on. Page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the <coughs> entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Run, run some. How Wait, I could turn off my TV for a sec. Anyway. <clears throat> I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too turn hard on. on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here. Agent there we go. Nightingale. FBI. He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. <coughs> Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were busy. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the Can I change the I guess I can't. Newspapers archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious. I'm not a fan of how the subtitles go like that. And get this. <clears throat> most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the god fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zink. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Fragile, the that's Island. me. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. I haven't been listening to him at all. I just want to check if there's anything I could pick, but I guess there's not. Is that her? No. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. But what was the point with the trash thingy? What? Hmm. Why, why do I kind of feel like I have a headache coming? Headache coming up. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. 
You could have just said like the fur the fur the fur br 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 trailer. That's a really poor Welcome door. to to Oh dear. Mr. Wake. I'm I'm so glad you're here. Are Notes you alright? Manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please come in. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? What? coming for you, hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Back to work, boy. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm running faster. Is and that faster. supposed to be me? My yeah. Is being revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each Rose took a day from me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me, and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's special? My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. No time to waste. Is Oh, there we go. You're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slane. Damn maniac! Brr, I'm so confused. I never. I hated confused. to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr.
Manuscript? Manuscript, script, 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 Invisible train? This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Oh, there's the thermos. Shit. Thermostat. Oh. Kinda gives me Firewatch. Wasn't it Firewatch? Uh, this is Jane Mulligan Thornton. Come in. Over. Uh, Thornton here. Uh, Jane, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why they would hey, what you doing? Come on! Sit down and give me that. Jane, Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Now uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler dropped her hopped up on something. I could see the lights of the radio station in the distance. Oh, yeah, I bet he does. Look 
I imagined that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Okay. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. Screw you, darkness. Parkour. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Team one, come in. Over. Team one, this is Sheriff Breaker. Report. Over. <laughs> much to uh like I don't really have like uh I don't even know will to live <laughs> oh shit you're so Oh my 
god, the slowest motherfucker strikes again. I'm not a runner, I'm a rider. Shut up and run. Shut up and run. Yeah. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Open. I had no idea how to get to the coal mine. Well, Maine would know. And I had a feeling I wouldn't get a chance to ask anyone else anytime soon. Oh, here's a little surprise. The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in. Folks, I'm going to see if I can talk him into an interview. Come on in, Mr. Wake. I ain't got time oh, for an I'm interview. I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm. Dan Brown? What? I have a look at her name all the time. Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. Judah, Judah, uh, uh again. Judah, Judah, uh, uh, Judah, Judah, uh, uh, Judah, Judah, uh, uh, Judah, Gaga, up. I had fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good script, I hadn't script, had the chance script, to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. I'll do it with you. Yeah, hello. sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Um, hi. Uh, 
I don't think I'm supposed to go there. Oh. When you come for me in every day. I think they would just, like, uh, fight the bitch. The bitches. Manuscript, script, script, script. Huh. Okay. Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Manuscript, script, 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 script. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. That was definitely breathing. That got me a little bit. Was stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. <gasps> hey! Let's go, let's go. Ow. Alan! <laughs> oh. Warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. God dang it. I tried. Damn, my bangs are like shit and my my lips are super dry. They hurt and they're like red. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger. And it was taking over everything in its time. Stupid ass barrels or some shit. Warehouse of some sort on the so opposite shore. So annoying. Did, 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 did. Shut up, Alan. Car from there. Go die. I hate his stamina. I hope the second game will have like a better stamina. Like go to the gym, or just like regular walks and shit. Take a little sprints, you lazy bitch. Low bitch ass. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger. What the fuck is this bullshit?
I tried to press the fucking L1. Warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Follow. Mm. Pissing me off. I'm sleepy. I'm pissed. Kind of hungry. And hot. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger. And it was taking over every moment. Oh, now you're dodging. What happened to the shit? Huh? You didn't judge, like dodge in that a fucking shit. Just and now you're doing it all the time. Stephen Fuck King you, had Alan. Been a source of inspiration to me. Fuck you. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. Did That's he what change makes it? Them no. Fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer.
Of course! in the ass Beautiful love. Wow. Oh my God. He's such a weak bitch. Like, can't even run for shit. Like, I hate that about this fucking game. Can I just, like, fucking skip this shit? Oh, wow. Fucking God.
Damn, my bangs. Mm. You know what? At this point, I don't care no more. Banks do what banks do. That was really extra. Extra door. Yeah, we get to have a car again. Just want to check if there's anything. There's absolutely nothing. Let's go. never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. The coal the mine wasn't far now. Whatever. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. But yeah, I'm gonna end that there. I'll definitely not be able to play the, the whole chapter today, but I'm gonna obviously continue next time. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. As always, take care and bye-bye.